Um, hello, everyone. I'm also a, a telecommunications engineer, and I've been working in a PET imaging center in Barcelona for the last years. And I'd like to present you uh, to present my latest work on on uh, registration of neuroimaging data sets, as well as, uh, as the partial volume effect correction. As you probably may know, uh, in the study of neuroimaging in neurodegenerative diseases, it's very useful to combine uh, different imaging techniques into a common anatomical space, such as uh, PET uh, and MRI, which provides you with uh, functional and anatomical information. And uh, this process is known as registration. That's what we're talking about. And as for partial volume effect, um, this is an inherent artifact that is given at the PET imaging technique. And what mo mostly does is to lose resolution that gives the, the blurry appearance of PET images. And among other artifacts, they, it gives you a loss of, of information. Uh, so robust and accurate registration as uh, partial volume effect correction are key processes. So for accurate clinical diagnosis, uh, statistical ana analysis and research, and for the study of clinical studies in, in drug development for pharmaceuticals. So, uh, however, in registration, um, it happens that when you think that two images might align or se seamlessly, uh, it happens that it doesn't. They just simply converge. And this is simply because con conventional methods uh, use only the overlapping information between the images. So what I, what I did is just take the non-overlapping information of these images, and we obtain a more robust and uh, accurate method uh, that worked really well. And I, we tested the, the, the methods with human and, and different image modalities and with mice as well, mice data sets. As for partial volume effect correction, what we did is just, why don't we take advantage of the anatomical information of any, uh, the structural information of any anatomical image and put it into the PET images just for correcting the, the partial vo volume effect, apart from gaining uh, spatial resolution. And what we obtained was, a, this is all of this is improvement. This is uh, improvement for, for uh, all imaging data sets, uh, all imaging techniques and modalities and all uh, spatial transformations applied to the data. And as for the partial volume effect correction, we obtained partial volume effect and highly resolution images. Uh, quantitative data is not uh, is preliminary but promising at the same time. And can you see that it's for independent irrespective of the modality. So we have corrected uh, it's in the same way both, both images with different image modalities. So I'm very interested in uh, introducing these methods in clinics and in the clinical use, uh, as well as exploring other uh, uses of, of the methods for other organs like liver, heart, and trying to, why don't we can correct, for instance, partial volume effect during uh, simultaneous PET, PET MR uh, acquisition, taking advantage of the uh, advent of the hybrid PET scanners. And of course, I'm open to, to talk about other imaging processes techniques. Thank you. Thank you.